Hi. Today we'll speak about the first talk of diastology. So to assess the LV diastolic function, uh, you can uh, uh, you have to do these parameters like uh, to do full assessment, mitral valve inflow Doppler, pulmonary venous Doppler, tissue velocity measured at the mitral valve annulus, lift ventricular inflow and outflow for measurements of the isovolemic relaxation time, and lift atrial area. Uh, you don't have to do all of this in every single patient, but you have to do whenever uh, diastolic dysfunction is suspected, for example, for example, in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Or if you find, if you did one of these parameters and it came abnormal, like mitral valve inflow Doppler. Here, this is a mitral valve inflow Doppler. You will get E and A. And here is the uh, pulmonary venous Doppler, S, D, and A. This is a tissue doubler, S, D, sorry, uh, E prime, A prime, and S. And here, this is the inflow and the outflow, E, A, and LV outflow. This is the assessment of LA area in two chamber view and in four chamber view. What's tissue doubler? Tissue doubler, when you will get the full chamber view, press TDI and put the cursor with the indicator on the mitral valve annulus at the septal level, mitral valve annulus at the free wall, and when we'll assess the RV for the, both the tricuspid valve uh, uh, free wall, you will get the A prime, A prime, and S. What's E over E prime ratio, which is our topic today? TDI is currently the most accurate technique to evaluate the diastolic function in children, particularly in critically ill patients where loading conditions can vary widely. So it is independent on loading, loading conditions. So this is the EA doubler mitral valve EA ratio. So this is the E, then measure the E, go to the menu, mitral valve E, measure the E. Uh, then tissue doubler, as uh, we uh, said, and at the septum, septal uh, mitral valve annulus, uh, press PW, you will get the E prime, A prime, uh, uh, menu, mitral valve, E prime, and measure E prime. Uh, you're supposed to get the, this ratio automatically. E over EA uh, is 8.4, which is normal. While here, this is E, we measured the E, this is E prime, the ratio came 39, which is very high, means diastolic dysfunction. Uh, uh, another significance to E over A prime, let us measure, uh, let's describe these phases of LV diastolic dysfunction. So this is normal, E bigger or, or taller than A, while mild diastolic dysfunction, E shorter than A, while moderate diastolic dysfunction uh, will happen, what's called pseudo-normalization, so E again will be higher than A. So how to differentiate between this and this? Just to do E over A, E prime. So uh, in normal and in mild diastolic dysfunction, E over E prime is less than 10, while in moderate diastolic dysfunction, it will come more than 10. Severe diastolic dysfunction is still more than 10. So we have to remember the value 10 in pediatrics, Less than 10 is normal, more than 10 is abnormal, more than or equal 10 is abnormal, or see this uh, in this uh, reference, they calculated, they uh, check the, uh, or they got the uh, reference of the normal value according to the age, less than one year, less than uh, two years, 9.93 uh, plus or minus 1.55. Whenever uh, the child gets older, this number is little less, 